what school should be. The world does not care what you know. What the world cares about is what you can do with what you know. This from Dr. Tony Wagner at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. I'm Dan Jackson, and I'm an experiential entrepreneur instructor here at Apex Friendship High School. What exactly does, is entrepreneurship at Apex Friendship High School? Our pathways developed around three primary classes. In the ninth or 10th grade, students would enter into principles of business where they're given the foundations of business and finance. And then either in their 10th and 11th grade year, they would then move into entrepreneurship one honors. To complete the pathway, they would complete entrepreneurship two honors. And for those who are really gung-ho, they can go into CT advanced studies to continue learning about their passion for business. My mission is to provide a spirited learning environment in which all students feel comfortable and confident to strive for their very best. You'll notice that spirited is an acronym and it stands for stimulating, positive, initiative, respect, integrity, teamwork, empathy, and determination. It's these ingredients that make up my classroom or what I like to call my learning lab. We'll be learning through experiences, not necessarily through a lot of textbook study guides and tests. In each of my classes, students will learn to think for themselves, become self-directed and reflective, lifelong learners, and they're gonna love doing it. They're gonna be exploring career opportunities and the many different options that are available out there for them in business. In addition, they're gonna like, learn how to make decisions and solve real world problems. The world does not need test takers. According to the World Economic Forum, what we need are people with skills, not necessarily high GPAs and SAT scores. What's gonna determine our future and our students' future success in the workplace are having skills like critical thinking, complex problem solving, how well do they work in teams, agility, flexibility, adaptability. That kind of means the ability to, to learn again. Hey, because these skills and what's happening in this world is changing so fast, they're going to need to learn how to learn. We definitely work a lot on effective oral and written communication. And there is always in my classroom opportunity for exercising curiosity, creativity, and imagination. So what exactly are these experiences? and What exactly is this learning lab that you're talking about? My classroom is one of my favorite places to be. I set it up in such a way that it's comfortable, students can have confidence, and it's very much more like a community than it is a classroom. Again, it's a learning lab. The culture is open, free thinking, and designed for students to stretch and challenge themselves and others. You can see here that the, all kinds of collaboration, having fun with friends, working together, working with the experts and coaches that come into the class, one of students' favorite activities is building jigsaw puzzles. That's interesting, Mr. Jackson, why would you do that? Well, business is a lot like a jigsaw puzzle. You have to put the pieces together the right way in order to complete the picture. Definitely true in entrepreneurship in which you're constantly trial and error, and does this piece fit there, and does that piece fit there? It's another way to get their hands on, it's another way to get their minds going, and it's another way to make connections to business that might not have otherwise been made in a textbook environment. Another cool activity is what I call problem product pitch. Students are to identify their own problem, they're given a bag of Lego in which they are to construct the solution to that problem. And they get up then in front of the class and they pitch their idea to the class. At the end, there's a winner. We often have guest speakers that engage us in their expertise from the fields of marketing, finance, technology, engineering. People from all over come into the class and share with our students about what they do, how they got there, and what our students can do to be successful in that field. My teaching style is getting my kids' minds going and joining them in their learning journey. I'm not a lecturer. I don't sit at my desk while others are doing stuff. 
I like to get up, move around, go from table to table, team to team, check in on them, challenge them, have them challenge me, ask good questions and the like. We do have field trips, but they're more than just a chance to get out of school. They are fun learning experiences at places like University of North Carolina, North Carolina State University, Research Triangle Park, HQ Raleigh, the Loading Dock, the Frontier, other places where business people and entrepreneurs get together to do networking. Constantly developing skills on these field trips. Here at the RTP Frontier Million Cups, event that they have each Wednesday, we go and we listen to a pitch put on by an entrepreneur, and then we have the chance to do networking with other investors and entrepreneurs that are in the room. These two young ladies are exercising their ability to talk to people, ask questions, have conversations, ask for business cards, shake hands and the like. Patriot Deca is another huge part of the experiential entrepreneurship pathway. It offers opportunities for leadership development, skill development, and in the case of this young lady here, scholarships. She won two years ago $30,000 from North Carolina DECA. She's currently enrolled at the University of North Carolina in the Keenan Flagler Business School. And I'm still regularly in touch with her, which is kind of cool. Patriot DECA goes through a number of different conferences or competitions, if you will. We start off at the district level. This is a picture of a couple of years ago of all of those who had made stage with trophies and medals. From district conference, you then go to state conference. This is a picture from a couple of years ago in which we had 31 students be invited to International Career Development Conference because of their accomplishments. Once at the Inter International Career Development Conference, also known as ICDC, it's fun, okay? This is a group here that was called Rise to the Peak. And those of you who are at Apex Friendship Middle School, you may have actually been a part of it a couple of years ago. They came in third place in states, were invited to Atlanta and put on their performance, if you will, there. You know, but it's not just about winning. Well, uh, maybe. It's about the experience and the experience that DECA, the state conference, the international conference offers insurmountable. This is a team of three that made top 20 in the world out of 240 contestants in the category of business operations research. At that same conference in Atlanta, we had another team of two who did a business operations research on HQ Raleigh come in sixth place in the world. In total that year, I believe we had nine people make the international stage from Patriot Deca. And winning is pretty cool. Just last year in February, just before COVID hit, this is a team that came out of my class for first place in the career and development program. Very cool. And on that same conference, it's really cool when you have two teams with startup entrepreneurship business plans share first place podium. That's right, it was a tie. But you know, DECA is not all about the Blazers medals and trophies. We definitely find time to have fun. This was the group that I had taken to, I believe it was Anaheim, in which we had 12 Patriot DECA members at. The following year in Atlanta, I believe we had 26 there. And we would have had, we would have had close to 50 go to Nashville had COVID not hit. The business entrepreneurship pathway, hey, you know what? Don't take my word for it. Let's listen to some student and family perspectives. I really appreciate how this class has no barriers and we are able to learn through experience. Another student said, after taking Mr. Jackson's class, a little flame started in my heart. My whole perspective on the whole world and my life changed. I would come home every day and talk about how fascinating business was. I soon began to realize my passion. That's the same young lady who had won the $30,000 scholarship who is now at Keenan Flagler at North Carolina Chapel Hill. Another one on skill development. No other class that I have taken compares to this one. It has helped me improve myself. And isn't that, after all, why we are taking the class, especially in the elective, so that we can improve? As far as I'm concerned, that's what education should be all about, improving. 
And another one of concern in the environment. Mr. Jackson makes me want to learn more rather than making me just get an A. I would definitely take this class over again. One of the things that I love is when I receive emails from parents. I know then that students are going home and talking about it and the parents are then writing me about what they think. One parent or family member said, I cannot begin to express how impressed and excited that my son landed in your class. It's refreshing and makes me wish I had something like this when I was in high school. Both of my boys, which actually as an aside, oftentimes I'll get younger siblings recommending or uh, older siblings recommending to their younger siblings, hey, you need to take Mr. Jackson. And in this particular case, both of my boys have spoken of your class often, and I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for your thorough, knowledgeable, and caring approach to your class. It will stick with them always. As a matter of fact, it was this week that I had received an email from a, one of these boys, and he talked about how much he was using what he learned in the classes that he had taken with me. So don't forget, sign up for Principles of Business and Finance with Mr. Jackson, where hands-on learning turns minds on. I look forward to seeing you next year.